All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Check out Pig and a Pickle, two locations, Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Go say hi to Damon and Mary. Get some brisket. Tell them that Krug sent you. All right, let's talk a little bit about the 49ers. The, according to Jordan Schultz on Twitter, uh, the 49ers and former Niner wide receiver punt returner Trent Taylor have agreed to terms on a contract to bring him back to the team that, of course, originally drafted him. He is a punt returner. He's dependable. Last year he spent with the Bears. He was with the Bengals in 2022. Um, let's talk a little bit about Trent Taylor. And, and you know, the Niners drafted him. Um, he played at Louisiana tech. He was a fifth round pick. The 33rd pick in the fifth round or the uh, 33rd pick, uh, or I should say the 133rd pick probably in, in round five in the 2017 draft. He's a small guy, five, eight, 181 pounds. Um, you know, not a burner ran four, six, three in the forties, got a one, five, three, 10 yard split. So he's very quick, 33 and a half inch vertical. A six seven four three cone drill, which isn't bad, but um, you know this guy has been underestimated his whole career. Why? Because he's tiny. He's a tiny little guy. He only had one FBS scholarship offer uh, that came his way because he's five eight, hundred and seventy eight pounds. But Louisiana Tech uh, benefited. He, you know, and and he went there uh, and he contributed and played really well for them. So you know, he's really a good football player. Um, you know, he's, he's a guy that can't run really, he's a tart, you know, if you're using him from scrimmage, he's a slot receiver. Um, the one thing about him that's nice is he is tough and he will catch it in a crowd and hold on. Is he going to run away from people? No. Is he going to make big plays in the, uh, in the passing game? No. Um, he's not an explosive punt return talent. He's a dependable punt return talent. And that's really it. That's where he, that's the strength of his game. Um, you know, if you had to have a, uh, somebody on the hands team, this guy would be it, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. A lot of people compared him to Wes Welker coming out of college, but Welker was way more explosive, way more athletic. But, you know, the nice thing about him is that he's got great instincts. Um, you know, he's got great route running ability in a short area. He's got short area quick quickness. He's efficient. He's natural. I mean, he, he'll he doesn't drop passes. He catches the ball. He's got great hands. Um, he's you know he's 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 a tough guy. I mean, this guy will take big hits despite the fact he's got a small frame and he'll hold on. Uh, he was a prolific pass catcher, and he's a very confident player. I mean, he's carved out an NFL career. Uh, without having really any size or speed. If you looked at this guy on the hoof, you'd say, no way. He's not an NFL player. He's 5'8", 181 pounds, and he's not fast. You know, so, so 5'8", 185, and not fast. Hmm. So you're not big and you're not fast? Well, you got to compensate and do something. And what this guy does is he runs great routes. He's tougher, tough as hell. Um, he's got really, really good hands. He'll catch it in the crowd. He can take a big hit and still hold on. Um, and more than anything, you know, if you're just looking, especially in, with the new, the new return rules and the new return game, maybe the, the Niners want somebody in camp who is just an absolute lock to catch the ball. Um, they're, maybe they're not looking for explosive returners. Maybe they're looking for dependable. That's what he is. At the end of the day, Trent Taylor is one of the NFL's most dependable um, return men from the standpoint of he's going to catch the ball. You know, he's absolutely going to catch the ball. You, you punt it to him in the air, in a crowd, in wind, bad conditions. He's going to catch it. He's going to hold on. If he takes a big hit, he's going to hold on. Um, he's a dependable player. So I kind of like it. I really do. From the Niners' perspective, um, you know, you you can take a chance in the draft with some high, you know, with some some dynamic return guys. Um, you already have guys like Danny Gray on your roster. Um, 
you have Ronnie Bell on your roster. You know, if you look at the 49ers depth chart, you know, the 49ers at, at, as, the, as the specialists, I mean, if you're looking for a punt returner. Ronnie Bell was your punt returner last year. Now, why would you be signing Trent Taylor if you already have Ronnie Bell? Well, Ronnie Bell is not nearly as reliable as Trent Taylor. So maybe they're looking for the reliability factor. Um, as far as kick returners, the Niners used Ronnie Bell and Jordan Mason. I don't think you would use him necessarily as a kick returner, but he is an absolutely dependable uh, punt returner, no question about it. And um, if you just want a guy in camp, you know, I mean, obviously Trent Taylor, it's it's middle of April. He's still out there on the beach far after most of the top free agents have signed. The Niners know him. They know his character and they know his skill set. And maybe they just want somebody, you know, maybe they're they're looking at this and they're thinking maybe Ronnie Bell's part of a trade uh, or maybe Ronnie Bell, they feel like is going to not make the roster and they want, um, you know, a somebody who can just be a dependable, you know, kick a punt returner. And there's no doubt that Trent Taylor is exactly that. He's a dependable player who is, as I said, got great hands. He's not going to turn it over in a big situation. Um, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. I mean, they've had Ray Ray McLeod and obviously Ray Ray, they moved on from Ray Ray. So, you know, Ray Ray had a huge costly turnover in the Super Bowl. It wasn't necessarily his fault. The ball hit uh, Darrell Luter's foot. Ray Ray's fault was that instead of just falling on it, he tried to kind of pick it up and advance it and fumbled. And that was one of, if not the biggest play in the Super Bowl. So if you've gotten burned by, you know, a big play like that in a Super Bowl situation, um, it's safe to say that it's possible that Brian Schneider, the special team coordinator, and um, – and, you know, Kyle Shanahan, the head coach, have been had some sleepless nights. I will say this. I was just at the local pro day and the Niners brought in, you know, a bunch of guys to return. Like I would say there were at least seven or eight returners there out on the field trying to show that they could do the job. And, you know, it's like the one thing about Trent Taylor is that you can sleep at night knowing you got a guy that is going to avoid the negative play. And that's really what, you know, you can win the game on special teams, but you can also lose the game on special teams. And you could argue that the Niners may have lost the Super Bowl partially by their mistakes on special teams. And so they're, you know, if you're Kyle Shanahan, you don't want to see history repeat itself and you want to make sure you have a dependable guy. So Trent Taylor, the newest 49er, uh, I can't imagine he got big money. And uh, he'll be in camp this summer battling for a spot on the final 53. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.